Hello, this is Matt from Firewalls.com. In this video we're going to demonstrate how to set up port forwards on your sonic wall with the use of NAT policies. We're going to create our NAT policies manually with the creation of service objects and address objects to forward traffic from an external facing IP to an internal IP. Creating our rules manually allows for greater control over the objects we create and more advanced port and IP translations. We are required to set up free NAT policies on the sonic wall for traffic to flow in all directions. First thing we're going to do when we're in the sonic wall is click on network and then net policies. So the first thing we're going to do is create our inbound net policy. So if you click on add, the original source will basically be what we're going to allow in. So we're going to select any. We're not going to translate that source. We're going to keep it the same. So that'll be original. The original destination will be our outside external IP. So we're going to create a new address object for our external WAN IP. If you have more than one public IP, I suggest that you use one that the firewall isn't using. We're then going to translate this to the internal IP, so the host that we have set up on the inside to accept this traffic. And then we're going to specify the original service. For this example, we're going to be initiating a connection for a web server. So our original service, we want to use something that doesn't conflict with our standard HTTPS port that the firewall is using as 443. So for our custom service that we're going to use on the outside, we're going to specify um, a different port that our web server will be listening on. We're going to use 4440. And on the inside, we want to translate that service back to normal HTTPS. So we're going to specify here our standard HTTPS port. This is to avoid any kind of conflict, so we're going to translate the service from the outside, and then when it comes into the firewall, we're then going to translate that back to the original service that we want to listen to on the inside. We're going to specify our inbound interface as our WAN, and then click Add. So this rule will basically allow HTTPS access from the outside on port 4440 to the external IP and then will be mapped to the internal server on port 443. The next rule that we're going to create will be our outbound port forward. So we're going to click on add. We're going to specify our internal source as the internal IP of the server. We're then going to translate that source to the external IP of the server. So when we're going out, we want to translate it to the external IP. The original destination will be anything on the outside. And we're not going to translate that, so that'll say the original. Then the original service will be 443, which is our internal port. And then our translated service will be our port that we're going to be listening to on the outside, which is our custom HTTPS port on 4440. Now click Add to add this rule. Now this rule will basically allow our internal server to send traffic out on the external IP and allow data to flow in both directions. The last rule we need to create is our loopback rule, which will be an internal DNS policy so that anyone on the inside can connect to the external IP and be rerouted back in through the IP rather than going out to the external internet and then back in through the firewall. For this rule, we're going to specify the original source as our firewall subnets, which is including all of our internal IPs. The translated source will be our external server IP. 
The original destination will also be our external IP, so that they're basically rerouted back to the IP address. And then we're going to do our translation to the inside internal IP of our server. The original service will be our external port that we have set up, our custom HTTPS port. And then we can do our translation to our internal HTTPS port just to avoid any kind of conflicts. We're going to click Add. So now we have all of our free NAT policies created for inbound, outbound, and our loopback rule to allow port forwarded access to our internal host from an external IP. Now the last thing that we need to do in order for our port forward to work is to allow our port inbound from the external to the internal. So we're going to go to access rules and on the WAN to LAN rule we're going to add a new policy. So basically anything from the external going to the internal using our custom HTTPS port. The original source will be anyone on the internet and our destination will be our external public IP. So the traffic will first be mapped to our external IP and then when it hits that rule on the 4440 it will then be directed to the NAT policy which will then do the forward of the traffic from our external IP to our internal server. Feel free to try this out if you're hosting anything internally such as email servers or phone systems etc uh, and you wish to forward traffic to the inside then this is the way that you want to do it. Thanks again for watching this video, we hope you enjoyed it. Look forward to more videos as part of our Essentials series over the coming weeks. Thanks.